Hey, what's up? So the box you're seeing right here, it looks pretty similar to the one that I've shown in my Novensky Dev Crew Kit Unboxing video that I did last year. Uh, and that's because this is another project from Yevike Manufacturing Group, uh, EMG. It is OEM by Ditac and licensed by Novensky. Uh, and this is the latest Novensky Ghetto Blaster. Uh, this kit is available in three colors, uh, Signature Novensky Bazooka Green, Sniper Gray, and then the Novensky Tiger Eye Brown. And what I'm going, uh, what I'm going to unbox here is the Sniper Gray color version. Uh, as you might know, I'm quite a fan of Novesky products. I've, I have a Novesky NSR 11 PDW and a Novesky NSR 9.5 uh, MWS GBB, which I've done a video on them before, and you can find it on uh, the top right corner. And a Novesky Ghetto Blaster is going to be my third Novesky rival. Wait, actually, this is going to be my fourth. Novesky airsoft gun if we're also including uh, the AEG which I built four or five years ago. So uh, let's begin with the unboxing. Um, so the first thing you're going to see on the first layer of the box is the upper and lower receiver of the Ghetto Blaster kit. Uh, Sarah coated in sniper gray, uh, in sniper gray as I mentioned before. And then on the right here, uh, this is the aluminum uh, chamber insert and then this is the steel uh, gas point. This is actually not the gas block. This is the gas block of the uh, Novesky logo engraving on it. And then this is the uh, the barrel nut screws. And then this is the barrel nut. So let's put these aside and then let's look at this beautiful Beautifully Cerakoted Nolfesky Ghetto Blaster Kit. And obviously, there is a very obvious difference is that this slot here uh, it does not appear on the on the other Nolfesky gun that I have because this is the Ghetto Blaster and it comes with a uh, Q Honey Badger kind of like uh, a, a stock, a collapsible stock. And this is the slot uh, for, for the stock. So um, this is beautifully Cerakoted, as you can tell. Um, and what I meant by perfectly Cerakoted is that the Cerakote application is not too thick and it's not over applied uh, that would, you know, partially cover or fill into the engravings. So as you can tell, the engravings is pretty clear. Big little uh, Novesky logo here. Uh, the lower receiver of the Gato Blaster is actually, I believe, is a uh, Novesky Gen 4 lower. Uh, that features a ambidextrous boat release. I believe the upper receiver is still a Gen 3 upper receiver. Uh, you would also see there's no full auto uh, engraving on the receiver because it is a civilian firearm. So great attention to detail right there. And then another unique thing is that each kit has a unique serial number. So mine is uh, GB22002, uh, which, well, this is one of the reasons why you're paying premium price for this kit. So if you're looking, at my other Novesky gun here, that which I have done a review last year. Um, the engraving is obviously totally different. There's no ambidextrous boat release right here. And then if I flip it to the other side, it says Novesky here, a small Novesky logo and some Novesky engravings here. And it also says Model N4. It comes with a full auto marking because uh, as I mentioned in my previous video before this is used uh, by the Dev Crew kit, uh, the, the, the actually Dev Crew team, not Dev Crew kit. So this is uh, the version on the Ghetto Blaster. There is only a big Novesky logo here. Oh, by the way, one more thing: um, the threading is actually universal threading, so you can uh, it is compatible with uh, Marie spec, VFC spec, and PDW spec, or even Reef Steel spec, if I remember correctly. So moving on and to the second layer of the box. And then you would see a um, NHR 7 inch handguard. And then you uh, you would also see a outer barrel, which is 7.94 inch according to the specs. And uh, you would see a small Novesky logo here, also 300 blackout engraving on the outer barrel. And let's go back to the, to the NHR rail. This is NHR 7, which means it is 7 inch long. And um, one thing that I, I'm i not really a big fan of, but this is how it looks like, is the bottom Piccadilly rail. Because nowadays, pretty much all handguards are using either 
M-Lock or key mod, mostly M-Lock. And um, for some reason, Noveski decided to go back to the Piccadini uh, bottom rail, which I wouldn't say I, I don't like it. I'm just not really a big fan of it because most of my accessories are M-Lock system platform. So, And then this is the Noveski super badass uh, charging handle for the MW system. This is literally what it's called, super badass charging handle. I believe it is actually made by, uh, for the review version, uh, this is actually made by Geisley, but uh, with a Noveski marking on it. So this is pretty much specifically made for Noveski uh, rifles. And then, um, this is, this back here has the accessories, for example, the buffer spring and the buffer. Uh, look, look at that, this is quite a small buffer. And then this is the ambidextrous uh, bolt release and the other bits of uh, accessories in this bag. <clears throat> and then again, this is the uh, Q Honey Badger stock assembly. Uh, if you know what's a Q Honey Badger, then you'll definitely know about this stock because it is probably the biggest obvious feature for uh, the Honey Badger and then Noveski had decided to adopt the stock for uh, their Ghetto Blaster. Uh, I don't own a Q Honey Badger which is made by CNC Tac. I mean the Airsoft version, uh, but there are three differences um, between this stock for the Ghetto Blaster and the stock for the Q Honey Badger. So first of all, uh, the Noveski stock is in black color as you can tell here and the button is in gray color and the Honey Badger is actually uh, gray color in general. The whole thing is uh, it's gray instead of black. And then the second difference is the small Noveski logo here. I'm not sure if there's any uh, Q logo on the stock of the Honey Badger, but I'm pretty sure there should not be any <laughs> Noveski logo on the uh, Honey Badger stock. And then the final and the third and final difference is the number of position available on the collapsible stock. Instead of being able to only being able to fully extend or collapse on the Q Honey uh, Honey Badger stock, the Noveski Ghetto Blaster stock features one more position, uh, which is right here, than the uh, than the Q stock. So this is the first position, second position. This is fully extended, fully collapsed, three positions. So let me just put everything back in place. And actually, I would just deal with that later. Do you note that the Q uh, Cherry Bomb, you have to buy this separately, uh, which is also made by CNC Tech. And then, um, this is the Noveski Magpul crossover kind of thing, uh, selector. Um, this is not licensed, so there's no engraving on the selector plate itself. Um, but this is also manufactured by CNC, so same as the Q-Cherry Bomb. Um, I have a engraved version because it's a real steel uh, selector plate. It is also compatible with uh, the CNC TAC uh, selector. So if you're into real steel marking, then you can just purchase a real steel uh, fire selector from Magpul or Noveski and just pluck it in. So, and if you're curious how it's gonna look like and what you have probably already seen on my instagram this is the completed gun and you would probably be curious because i'm not using their anti sharp rail and obviously this is this row is so much longer than the anti sharp rail because this is actually from my pdw which is the nsr 11 inch so this row is 11 inch and it's perfectly compatible with um, the Ghetto Blaster upper rail because it's a Gen 3 rail, as I remember correctly. Um, it is also, it looks flush uh, instead of a Gen 4 because Gen 4, uh, they do feature a 45 degree M lock on the handguard. And um, for the Gen 3, there's no M lock on a 45 degree angle. So, uh, this, I'm not going to do an introduction on this gun, probably. I'll do it for another video. So this is pretty much how it looks. Um, let me show you the other side. So yes, this is just a unboxing video. So I'm not going to do any in detail introduction on this gun. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Probably, hopefully it's going to be on this gun. Bye.